Well, hey guys, how's it going? I uh, got myself a couple of new toys. Uh, I'm just going to get right into it. First thing I got was this little uh, RTL ST SDR dongle, which is uh, it's a uh, computer sourced uh, radio, basically. And what it does is uh, it allows you to tune in frequencies on your computer. It's got an antenna right here. And I actually just ordered a adapter, too, to go to this for my outdoor antenna, which is hooked into that scanner. But <clears throat> I'll show you the program real quick. Got all these different modulation settings. Put on here for now. There is uh, here's this is like what they call a waterfall display. It's all the different signals. I'm getting a lot of signals right now. But right here, you can see this. That little thing right there. Let's zoom in here. Right there, that little blip right here, that's a signal from my uh, weather station up here, the thing that's outside. That thing, way out there. I'm not sure what that other thing is, but I figured it out, that small little blip noise. Every time this thing updates is when you hear that little noise. And of course you can adjust the frequency really easily. Five, six, seven, all the way up here. You can even go to uh, the FM band. I think you can. I don't know if I'm in the right. Oh no, I'm not. Not in the right. So here's the FM band right here. You gotta change the mod modulation here to wide FM. And it's 101.3 local station. So that's pretty cool. And it all comes through this thing here. And I also got a adapter, which you can see here, to plug into my phone. And I've got an app on the phone too that'll run this thing. So that's really cool. And the other thing I wanted to show, let's close this, is uh, okay. while I was at Walmart uh, looking for that adapter to go to my phone, I found this. And this is a little GPS tracking device. And here's a little thing right here. And you just power it up like this. So now it should be powered up. And you can track it on your Bluetooth with an app here on the on your phone. And I found that while I was looking for the uh, adapter and I thought that was really cool. So what I did want to do was uh, check the range on this thing. So let's open up the app here. If I can find it. So here's the apps for that uh, dongle thing. There's that. I just gotta, oh, I gotta turn Bluetooth on. There we go. Alright, so now that's connected. Almost. Okay, see this just flashed, so now it's connected. And then it'll show on a map where it is. Which is really, really, really cool. So what I'm going to do now is I want to check the range on this thing. I'm going to take this outside. 
Well, I'm going to put this, uh, let's just hang it, hang it somewhere, hang it right up here. And I'm going to take a walk and see how good the range is here. I don't know how good the range is. If it only goes across the yard, I'm going to be disappointed. Since locate succeed. Hmm. Well, give me a minute to figure this out here. Well, let's see. I'm. It's right over there, and I'm disconnected from it. So either I am not doing something right, or it has really crappy range. Cause we'll see what happens when I move closer. Okay, we're right next to it now. So I'm not sure what this alarm means. Yeah, locate seceded. But if I start to move away... Alright, kind of getting away from it now. So far, so good. Let's go this way. All right. I guess maybe. Anyway, it'll take me a while to figure this out. But it's got to have better range than just a few steps away. See, now the alarm's going off again. I don't know. Oh, right there. Locate succeeded. So, I don't know. I'll have to look, look into it a little bit more. I'm probably not doing something right, but it's got to have better range than uh, just a few steps across the yard. So I'm going to shut that off. All right, anyway, my battery's dying on my camera, so I will uh, shut this down for the day. Thanks for watching.